Hello and welcome to Bolsover TV. Here's what's coming up in this week's programme. A young man from Pinkston has been left devastated after his PlayStation 5 was stolen before he even had the chance to play on it. I head to Plesley Vale for a relaxing time with the Snug Yoga Studio. Residents in Shybrook are being asked for their views to help formulate a new growth plan for the town. And we raise a glass and say cheers to old Bolsover Yard's latest venture. But first, plans have been approved to build up to 26 new single-storey council properties on land off Market Close in Shirebrook. The development, the latest under the £36 million Bolsover Home Scheme, will see the bungalows constructed to meet quality housing standards, such as the Code for Sustainable Homes Level 3 and Lifetime Homes, and will all be at an affordable rent. Using underutilised land for the benefit of local communities, Cabinet Member for Economic Growth, Councillor Liz Smith, told us why it was important to build these properties and to look after elderly residents. It's really important that we build social housing. Um, it's such a, a need in the area. And it's brilliant because they're right down here in the centre of the town. So um, majority bungalows. So for elderly residents or people who aren't so great on their feet anymore and they're right next door to everything they need here. You've got the banks, the post office, all our brilliant independent retailers, the supermarkets, so it's just an amazing place for them to be. It seems an obvious comment but real thought has gone into this because of things like the amenities and what's around. It's not simply just throwing up housing, there's a, there's a thought process, there's a reason behind it. Yeah, um, every project that we do with Bowls Over Homes is really carefully thought out all based around the needs of our residents and the people that live in our homes. We are covering all of the district with the Bowls Over Homes programme. It's really important that we get homes all over the district for all our residents. Uh, but at the moment, the need here in Shirebrook is for bungalows. And, uh, and so that's what we're doing. Now, Richard Hounsell from Pinkston had been wanting a PS5 games console for over a year, but was unable to buy one due to low stocks and high demand. However, in November 2021, he was able to pre-order one through a major retailer and was excited when he received a notification email saying that one was being delivered to his neighbour. As he was working, though, away at the time, he travelled back home only to be told by his neighbour that they did not have the PS5 as it had been collected by someone in a hoodie. I took up the story with Richard at his house and he told us what happened next. I went round to my neighbour and asked them, kind of, have you got a parcel for me? <laughs> um, and they kind of said that they'd had a number of parcels and they'd all been collected. Um, one had been collected by a man in a hoodie. Um, so I kind of, had to say, well, I'm going to have to get the police involved. <laughs> and they were kind of fine with that. Um, rang the police. Um, they kind of sent a police officer around and asked questions about it, but just eventually kind of closed the case and said they couldn't really do anything. I was very annoyed when it was all happening because I kind of just spent £600 and I'd not got what I purchased. I might end up taking it to a like small claims court because I feel like I'd, I'm in the right to get my money back at least. I've actually bought another PS5 because um, <laughs> I kind of, I got to the point because it's going been going on for months and months, I kind of realised that I wasn't going to get get it back basically. So yeah, I have bought another PS5. Head to the village of Whitwell, where the organisers of September's three-day music festival are putting on a day-long event to warm you up on Saturday the 12th of March. The mini-festival will have live music, ales and food, as well as a small fringe event with retro clothing, books, records and jewellery for sale, accompanied by acoustic acts. Residents in Shirebrook are being urged to give their views on how they feel about living in the town so a growth plan can be written. 
Comments received will help develop a plan that will set out the ambitions for how the town could grow and prosper over the next five years and beyond. It could also cover issues such as living and working in Shirebrook, with particular focus on the town centre and the marketplace and environmental issues. The consultation ends on the 31st of March and the feedback will be used to formulate the growth plan. Now we could all use a little more relaxation in our lives and I think I've found just the place to get it. The Snug Yoga Studio in Plesley is a space to relax, restore and connect your body and soul. With weekly classes including restorative yoga, yoga nidra and sound baths, there is something for everyone looking for a relaxing hour to get away from it all. I was intrigued to find out a bit more, so I headed out to meet Becky Lovett, who runs the sessions, to have a chat with her and take part in a restorative yoga class of my own. We're in the Snug, uh, which is located at Plesley Vale. Um, it's been open just a couple of months and it's a yoga and relaxation studio. So we do yoga, we do restorative based practice, we do traditional yoga um, and we also do sound healing as well. Traditional yoga generally would include uh, meditation, breath work and asana, which is um, movement based postures. Um, so we do some of the traditional stuff. We also do restorative yoga, which is very slow. You hold poses for around 10 minutes um, at a time, sometimes even longer, um, with the idea to relax the body rather than um, kind of using the muscles, which you would do in a hatha-based practice. Sound healing is the best one because you just get to lie down, relax. I do all the work, um, so you don't have to. You just get to make yourself nice and snuggly and, and calm and cool and enjoy the evening. A lot of people come in and, and you can see that they've got tension, they're holding tension in their jaw, their um, shoulders are up by their ears, they're not breathing properly. You can hear them breathing um, in their throat. and when they come in after a few minutes, hopefully of breathing, of meditating, of just learning how to relax, even if it's just a little bit, um, you can see that tension start to leave the body, which is really nice when they leave and they're yawning. <laughs> and finally, I've come down to the delightful old Bolsover yard, selling everything from fabrics to flowers, recycling to rope making and cuppers to craft workshops, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this delightful little courtyard has everything you need. But wait, there's one more thing. Did you know that they stocked ales as well? Well, they do, yard ales, and it's proving a hit with residents and tourists alike, as they can partake in a selection of locally brewed ales, gins, and kegs, which can either be consumed on the premises or taken home to drink at your leisure. I'm delighted to say I've been joined by Sarah Smith, owner of Old Bosover Yard. Sarah, perfectly timed as well. Tell us all about Yard Ales, your, your newest edition, although it's been here for a couple of months, you were saying. Yeah, so we opened just before Christmas, um, the Yard Ales uh, shop. We got licensed because we've got the barn at the back where we can have parties and events. So we decided that it would be easier to be able to offer people a private bar for those things and then decided, well, actually, we've got the perfect building here why not pop all the bottles in there and then people can come along and take it and just as much as we like supporting small local businesses we thought we can support small local breweries so we've tried to get all local breweries to uh, to supply us and we get gin from just down the road at junction 29a from mark and vale as well so we've tried to do a selection of things so if people know that somebody likes a dark bitter for example we'll give them some advice about which ones that they could choose from all the different breweries that we have um christmas was good because we get mini kegs in as well the five liter mini kegs so if you're having a party and you've got a few people coming around you can get a, get a keg open and, and start drinking that. Um, but we've got gift boxes as well, so it makes a present for people. And we've got some tote bags and stuff. So again, you can just fill it with bits and pieces and it becomes a gift as well as a as a, something that you can drink. And again, the importance of, of local as well. I know you mentioned that in one of your earlier answers. You shop local, you spend local, and now you support the local breweries as well. Absolutely, yeah. And um, you've got the ability to, on a bright sunny day, it's really nice. You can sit in the courtyard and drink it. You don't have to just buy it and take it home. We're licensed for drinking here as well. Well, I can certainly recommend the Stevenson Pale. So next time you're in Bolsover, why not pop into the yard and try a few for yourself? That's what I'm going to do as soon as this is finished. 
I'm afraid that's all we've got time for though this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I look forward to seeing you next week on Bolsover TV where we'll see what the Whitwall Stitchers have been getting up to. But for now, goodbye.